What up, though? You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back in the building. Got my man Angry Principal holding it down. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I'll say. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Uh, so we back for another week. We getting back down to uh, Kentucky. You know what I'm saying? The, the home of a lot of great bourbons and whiskeys. Uh, so this one right here is called uh, Bluegrass, right? So it's from the Bluegrass Distillers. Uh, this is a joint that uh, Bo found at one of his favorite stores, uh, which was, it was a store pick too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was a store pick. This one is, what is it, 113. 13, yeah. 113 proof, duh. So uh, you got a little couple of words about it, or we kind of really don't know, yeah. right? Honestly, yeah. I don't really know much about it. You know, I went to my store, a &L, shout out A&L Wine Castle. You know, For sure. Spend, you know, I'm a regular customer there. I spend a little money with them. For sure. And, like, this had just been sitting there, you know, and I kind of asked about it. Like, not one bottle had been sold, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was like, hey, man, just, you know, he just threw it in for me, right? So I yeah. didn't pay shit for it, but, like, I think uh, uh, Ingrid Principal said it was 65, 65. Uh, uh, from the distiller. Yep. But uh, I don't know what to expect from it. Didn't, nobody I know has had any of it. I haven't had it. I, I really haven't looked at it, researched it on the, on, on the internet or YouTube or nothing like that mm -hmm. either. So it's going to be a surprise. Since they call it bluegrass, though, I, it's got some high expectations. It's got, high, yeah, it's got some high yeah. expectations. You, you make it a claim when you put that on your body. Yeah, when you put yeah. bluegrass on it. And at $65. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, I, I hope that is good, dog. Um, so... Before we get into it, though, what you thinking? How you think it's going to taste? I don't know what to think. Right, right. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know shit I about it. I mean, it's toasted oak, so it's that means it's going to have a hard, higher char on yeah, it. Yeah, so okay. it's going to be some, 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 some wood in it, yeah. you know? Yeah. All right. So. Well, so let's take a look. Go ahead and pop that cork. And it looked it look like a real cork from here. Like a bottle you kill somebody with. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a thick ass bottle. Right? <laughs> right. That's, that's a solidly built bottle. Right. right. Make somebody some glasses out of these things. I mean, it's huge. Thick like cold peanut right. butter. All right, pause for the cork. Right. Yeah. It's okay. Nah. A good it's, a, it's a real cork, though. It, it is a real cork. cork. It's so the first what, real cork we've had in a few weeks. I guess that's why I'm pissed. I thought it was going to be <laughs> a hard and pop. It's kind of dark, too, though, low key. Yeah, it's kind of dark skin. Yeah, it's kind of dark skin. Now, I know a, a couple of weeks ago we had that Ghost Coast. It was really dark. Yeah, I think this is, dark, this, yeah, this is kind of close. So let's take a look, see what we got here. It's definitely got some legs on it. Yeah, got, yeah, Toasted say. oat. Yeah. Look at that cork. You know I got short arms, though. I can't reach that. <laughs> you, some, uh, you set some of my nose hairs on fire a little bit there, though. Oh, yeah, it's alcohol in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely alcohol in it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I can't get past that. <laughs> Something sweet in there. Cocoa maybe or vanilla, red, maybe. I, see, I think, I don't know. Let's see. Red fruit, maybe? I'm getting cinnamon. Cinnamon? Oh, uh, this is like, it's like oh, juicy fruit. I do uh, smell. No, big red. Big red. Big I do red. smell the cinnamon, like the closer you get to it. Big red cinnamon. Yeah. Ooh, -wee. I don't know about this one. Right? <laughs> Cinnamon, a little vanilla. It's kind of, yeah, okay. Well, yeah. It's something sweet, but I'm I not like sure what it is. I like the finish. I don't you, like the nose, but, but I like the finish. You know what? The vanilla works with that cinnamon, though. Because at first, if, it was, if it's all cinnamon, it's too, it's, it's too much. But something, some kind of sweetness makes it work, actually, for me, anyway. I get like a big red cinnamon to the vanilla, and then just kind of mellows out. Okay, on the end, mm -hmm. and I know I'm about to sound crazy. Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Yes. Marshmallows. The marshmallow. Ooh. On the end, it's a very at the very, <laughs> very every time I talk. <laughs> Inside joke, y'all. But um, uh, it's at it's at the very end, almost like a. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't it's know. the weirdest thing. Because I'm not a big marshmallow fan, so that's why I know it's, so it's something, popping out. So something triggered it Yeah, for it's you. popping out to me like a marshmallow. I don't taste that. Yeah, I don't get that. I got vanilla I got vanilla and cinnamon, but cinnamon normally scares me off. Right now, I'm hitting it. It's like it's really, really hitting right there with that marshmallow taste. I don't get that. And that's so that does a little something for it. Let's hope. For Let's it. hope. Brings out a couple more flavors, but... Okay, so now the char. Mm-hmm. Stands out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Just a little bit more. Yep. 
Whereas before, for it being toasted oak, I'm thinking, you know, like a, a, I'm almost on a double oak. The other, only other toasted oak I've ever had was the Mictors. Okay. And that was outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. This, this does no not come it. close to Mictors at all. Now, I will tell you what, though. If you smoking a fat bottom Betty or anything remotely sweet, it's a no-go. Do not do that with this because I think it's too much sweetness going on here. To match it with a sweeter cigar, so the cigar not working for me because that's what I'm. That's what I have a fat bottom Betty. So, um, I actually, believe it or not, I, I actually like this though. I like it, and I think it's because something something sweet, which I think is the vanilla, is mellowing out the cinnamon. And I think for me, I, that that actually works. It, I, I'm, I'm not I'm surprised. Of, I'm not a fan of the nose. I like mm -hmm. the finish though. Mm -hmm. You off rip if you smell it. It's like you would probably get turned off. Yeah, by I it. mean, because it's very alcohol forward. Like I said, it says a couple of my nose hairs on fire. Like, yeah, it's alcohol yeah. and cinnamon forward though, like for sure, off the off the rip. But then you taste it, it's uh, it's a little more complex than it actually smells. So I actually I, I dig it. I kind of I dig it. Man, that marshmallow taste at the end is killing me. I, I can't get over it. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's I don't, really I don't, I don't, really I don't, I don't get it's that. Really I know. I, you, you know what I do get, though? I can't though? even say, say that I know I'm going crazy on this, but it's killing this thing for me. Yeah, like a s'more taste, huh? <laughs> no. Nah. No, just straight still marshmallow. Still marshmallow huh? At least a s'more would have a chocolate taste. Yeah, just yeah. straight yeah. marshmallow. None of that. I'm just getting straight synthetic sugar. That, that's that's no, it. No, for me, I think, I think I know why I like this, though. Because, like, I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch, right? But I can't really drink regular milk. Mm -hmm. So I've been drinking it with vanilla oat milk. And I feel like that's what this reminds me of. Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Vanilla Oat Milk. That's like, so I think that's why I like it. So I fuck with it. I fuck with it. So you got the uh, preliminary analysis. All right, so we'll go to commercial break. And then when we get back, we'll give it a one to five Black Power Fist ratings. You're going to see what each of us really think about the bluegrass. <laughs> Be back in a moment, dog. Till then, you already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW, man. It's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Be back in a minute. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial breaks. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back in the building. And now we're ready to give you that one to five Black Power Fist ratings. Uh, last week, I don't remember who went first, so we're going to go with Angry Principal this week. And uh, one to five, dog, what you, uh, what you thinking? I'm conflicted on this. What? Because um, of the marshmallows? It was free 99 <laughs> so of course I can't. But, you know, the price on the it is supposed price, to be 65 price, yeah. So I'm, I would not. <laughs> See, every time I talk, <laughs> um, I'm not spending 65 on this. Okay. okay. I got you. That's first off. Mm -hmm. nope. So the actual price of it turns me off, and that's what got me more closer to it too. Gotcha. But on the taste, it's not mm -hmm. bad. It's not. Uh, it's not great. It's not bad. It's right in the middle for me. Um, okay. So I'm really at a two, two and a half. Okay. I'm probably closer to two only because of sixty five dollars, and at one thirteen, I'm expecting anything but damn marshmallows at the end. Yeah. And we, I went on the website to look at some of the tasting notes. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Yeah. And it says marshmallow on the finish and that's where I got that's it. That's where you got and it. So, yeah, I, I am, uh, the marshmallows is what's turning it off for me. Yeah. That's why I'm at a two. I would probably go less, but like I said, you got it for free, so I'm not, I can't You can't really that. be mad about but that. Like I said, the 65 is a turn off for me. The marshmallows is a turn off for me. It's got, it does have 21% rye, so that's a cool thing that you get a little bit of spice in it. I got that when I put some water in it. Just, just a little more spice came out of it, but <laughs> I am, uh, I'm sorry, I'm to cover up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm going I'm to stick with it too. Gotcha. So you had a two on it. Bo, what'd you say, though? A lot of the same shit, really, man. Um, I'm not a fan of the nose. Um, but I like the finish. You know, that, that kind of that, that vanilla kind of smooth finish. Yeah. Um, like I said, I didn't pay shit for it, but for 65 like, normally, I don't think I would re revisit again for that price. Uh, right. I don't hate it. Don't love it. I Are you going to replace it? <laughs> 
Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> probably. That's, That's a new question we need to start asking. Yeah. Are you going to replace, you gonna replace that bottle once it's done? That's I'm not going to replace it. I'm not going to replace it. How about I like, that? I like that. That is a good question. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I give it a two. I give it a two point five. Okay. Mm-hmm. So two point five. So you say two. You say two point five. I'm go. I'm gonna give it a two point five too, right? But well, first of all, let me say this. Let me let me go backwards. Off the taste. I actually fucking enjoy this. So I would give it a three off the taste. However, I just don't want to pay the 65 for it. Like maybe I know there's 113 proof. So that's you might be like paying for the proof. But at 65, I can think of a, a few other things that I would rather sure. purchase at 65. But for the taste, I, I, I would give it a three. But because of the cost of it, even though we got it for free 99 this time. Um, if I had to go buy a bottle at 65, I'm definitely giving this like a 2.5. You can get the weather special reserve for 68. Oh, you feel me? So it's like, come on. Like, it was the comparison there. So I actually like it, though. Even with the on the nose, is heavy alcohol and heavy uh, cinnamon. Uh, the, the taste is a nice little blend of cinnamon and vanilla. Kind of gives me a, a, a taste of almost like eating cinnamon toast crunch with vanilla oat milk, which is what I do. On occasion, so I actually like it. So I, I like the taste. The price is a, a deterrent for me. Now. I can't lie. The sixty-five is a lot for it to be kind of mid, like for real, for real. So I'm gonna give it a two point five on that one, dog. Oh, I need to amend mine because mm-hmm. I'll keep looking at this toasted oak. Mm-hmm. There's nothing toasted or mm-hmm. oaky about this. So now you gotta drop it. I gotta drop it to <laughs> one and a half. Damn. And it's 65. I got to <laughs> drop it. I'm He's sorry. Like, it was you know, know. I, I, was, I was sitting over trying to give it more. He's like, you going to lie about this toasted <laughs> oil? I'm not getting either one of those. So, yeah, I got to drop it. So, 1.5. 1.5 for me. All right, so, 1.5. 2.5? Yeah, all right. I'm on the same boat. 2.5. Marshmallows. 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 I hate marshmallows. <laughs> on that note, man, we're going to continue to drink our uh, marshmallows. And uh, <laughs> make sure you check out all the replays, man, at www.everybodylovesbbw.com. Make sure that you do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, um, we out of here. Until the next time, you already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man, Angry Principal, in the building. Drink what you like, how you like, just not this. <laughs> <laughs> my man, Mo, holding it down. I say. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just... And of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. Marshmallows are just sitting here, man. Just, for the 48205, man. I guess I fuck with marshmallows, man. We out here, y'all. Peace out.